How's it going, guys? This is Matt. Uh, just doing a, another video in this little series uh, talking about RT, respiratory therapy, and uh, just kind of my process to get there. And um, Today's video, I just wanted to do, I guess, talk about why I chose respiratory therapy, you know, amongst all the other uh, healthcare professions that are available at uh, you know, various colleges or whatever. So, uh, you know, basically, like I said in my first video, my wife is currently an RN. She's been an RN for about four years now. And uh, she has quite a bit of contact, I guess, with RTs. Uh, both when she was a, a med surge nurse on the on a pretty uh, high acuity type floor, um, and then now she's a GI uh, lab nurse, and uh, some of the procedures that are done in their lab are uh, the bronchoscopies, and so uh, the RTs are usually the ones checking those with like a pulmonologist, and the nurses are in there, you know, monitoring heart rates and stuff so she's kind of seen a little bit of what they do uh, I think what first kind of piqued my interest in RT out of everything I'd ever really learned about was um, you know she mentioned once I don't, I don't know if it was stat team well I don't think it was a full code but you know the RTs come and uh, usually part of you know various critical care and emergency type things like that and uh, there was a short period before I started to uh, pursue RT uh, that I considered, like EMT, paramedic, firefighter type route, uh, because of that you know, type of fast-paced emergency-based medicine. Um, but if you know anything about firefighter, EMT, paramedic, it's it's not easy, you know, uh, to get in. Those are fairly small communities, uh, a lot of volunteer time is usually required before you can kind of get in to get paid to do it, and so, uh, it's not that I don't like to volunteer, but, uh, it's kind of tough to do when you have a family, you know, to invest all the time and money, um, to not have any output for it, so, I have lots of respect for those guys, though, so, um, so yeah, it was just, this was kind of like an alternate way to kind of get s kind of the similar type of action, you know, in ERs and ICUs where you could be the, the primary uh, person managing uh, these types of things, you know. And, and the other side of RT2, uh, as I kind of talked about in that last video, is, I mean, it's everything from breathing treatments and diagnostics and sleep labs and there's all really all kinds of stuff you can you can do so uh so it seemed pretty interesting you know like it was unique uh, there's things that rts can do that that other people can't do um so and it's pretty you know focused i mean you're you're you're, you're really focused on the the respiratory system and the cardiovascular system uh so you can really be uh, really specialized uh, in those things. So that's kind of why I wanted to do it. You know, my, my wife encouraged me to do a lot of research, do a lot of reading. You know, don't don't jump in anything feet first. Uh, you know, without going off on a huge tangent, you know, definitely do what you want. Uh, that's kind of a long lesson I've learned since I've graduated high school, you know, always kind of letting other people, you know, be it your parents or whoever kind of like usher you in a certain way, you know, uh, definitely, uh, if, if you have enough common sense, I guess I didn't really have a lot of that when I was a younger guy, but, uh, you know, definitely do what you want, do what's going to make you happy. Uh, I think it's certainly more fulfilling to accomplish something that you've decided to do yourself. Uh, and 
someone hasn't kind of like talked you into or telling you I think this would be good for you type thing so um, so I'm just looking at some notes uh, so after I applied uh, you know there was kind of like a dark period I guess where like you just don't hear anything it's kind of nerve wracking um, at least it was for me in our way our program worked because it's you're applying at the end of the semester when tons of people are, are you know either graduating or tons of people are are applying in general and things have to get processed through general admissions before they go to like the specialized admissions so um, so it took a while but then you know one day that email popped up and I uh, got to go meet with the director of the program um, and that was nice because you know not only does he provide a little insight with uh, you know what are you doing in this program and what does it mean you know uh, as a whole you know it's kind of nice to see why is this program better than, than others uh, there's about I think six to eight programs in the state I'm in uh, this one being considered one of the top uh, you know, it's certainly one of only of like three that aren't at for-profit type institutions. So uh, I'm definitely all about that. It's a little cheaper. Um, but the quality's still good. You know, they're contracted with uh, the five major hospitals in the city. So uh, we'll definitely have a really good experience. But it was also nice to kind of see, you know, get to talk to them about what their graduation rate is versus a from a program that can be more difficult like a lot of the health for the professions can be and then um, the reasons for the attrition I mean is it really because people are flunking and they're not cutting it uh, or, or what and so you know I was a little surprised to find out it's, it's not so much not to say that it's easy at least in the words of my director but there's, I guess it's about 7% he said was the attrition rate and it's due to people who really didn't know what RTs did, so they kind of go into it and they're like, this isn't what I thought it would be. Uh, and so that's a little relieving to find out that, hey, this isn't, this isn't so difficult that, you know, I guess you can't, you can't kind of put it on the back burner, you need to take it fairly seriously, but, but the people who are, who are quitting the program or dropping out of the program or getting kicked out of the program are people who really just don't put the effort forth or, or really didn't know what they were getting into so that kind of goes back to my prior point talking about read and learn about it and watch the videos uh, like I said all those the ARC videos they're on YouTube they're on their website so definitely check those out um, but also you know we talked about how successful their graduates are so I mean this is a program where yeah you graduate your degree simply allows you to go sit for uh, the registries like board examinations to get certified or registered um, which is ultimately the, the goal of going to this you know it's like this, this is one of those cases where a degree doesn't mean a whole lot it's just kind of your ticket to take the test and that's that's what you're really shooting for so uh, you know and they have kind of a weird uh, structure and apparently it was just changed uh, as I learned at our orientation a few weeks back so um, I may do another video once I learn a little bit more about that uh, but basically there's there's CRTs and RRTs so certified respiratory therapists and registered respiratory therapists so you definitely want registered um, it's kind of like a big two-part test uh, and they break scores down like a high and a low something like if you score low on the first one you can get certified but you have to retest and score high for your chance to sit for RRT um, again don't hold me to that uh, as I'm not actually doing this yet that's just kind of a very brief basic summation of what I understand as it is right now so uh, but to kind of learn that graduates of the program I'm part of are, are fairly successful you know it's something like 97 percent hit the, the CRT um, and 
91, I believe is what he said, are getting their RRTs first try. So that's pretty awesome. Um, you know, getting none of that's a guarantee. I mean, these these people are really working their butts off and studying. And uh, so, you know, I hope to be able to join the ranks and, and make these people, you know, proud to, to represent a program like, like this. So, um, so yeah, that'll be, that'll be interesting. It'll be fun. You know, uh, like I said, it's, today's about the middle of May. So I have some time. I'm just kind of, uh, past my time work and everything, but daily I look into this stuff and I, I read and you find new stuff, you know, almost every day. Um, I would love to find maybe like a dedicated uh, message board or forum or something like that to maybe read up on. I find, you know, there's a lot of them for nursing, there's a lot of them for doctors and med students and stuff, not a lot for RT, but um, let's see, I think I'll just cut it off right around here. Uh, like I said, I maybe a few more videos to come, probably talking about how my orientation went, my class sizes. Uh, we had an opportunity to meet some of the, the class that's like ahead of us, so I'm gonna film another video maybe in a few days of talking about that and uh, get into some other fun stuff, uh, stuff that I don't really know a lot about, but maybe, uh, uh, you know, things like stethoscopes and, and scrubs and shoes, what's great for school, what's, not you know um kind of the rules i have to follow so so yeah a few more videos i guess will be in the works and uh like i said uh definitely look into it uh, i may go back and I, I update some of these videos with like links in the descriptions maybe to the ARC website or if i come across something really neat i might update uh, a description or something to have some links so anyways guys uh thanks for watching and I will see you guys later.